Kumu sa lahat. Welcome to Pinoy Crossover. Your host for tonight, Marky Mark with Filipino Stock in Basketball. We have our host here on my left side. We got James. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. Wearing all my Sixers gear. Just for you guys. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. And over on my right side, welcome back, Ingrid. How Thanks, are you feeling? I'm glad to be back. Thanks Ooh. so much. How was your trip to the Philippines? You know, it was know. great. Thanks so much. Um, it was a very humbling but very fun experience and everything. Went island hopping and all that. I get to see the family. Awesome. Now I want to go back again now too. I recommend to go back, <laughs> go for back, sure. Yeah. Well, let's go to the, our topic. Some individual <coughs> matchups that you guys saw during the playoff series. Which ones were your favorites so far? Uh, for me, as a Sixers fan, it's the Jared Dudley against Ben Simmons. <laughs> okay, why? Uh, why? It's because um, it's like someone talking crap to you yeah. and who's just a normal citizen and then you're like a celebrity. Yeah. So it's just like that for Ben Simmons and Jared Dudley. Yeah. So for you guys, what do you guys think about like that, you know, rival, like the little fight and the other things like that? It's always have to... Get that kind of good rivalry going on, like that kind of competition. Yeah. But if you really had to look at it as a matchup, it wasn't really a matchup. Yeah. Come on, you're really going to compare Dudley to Ben Simmons with it? Not so much. I mean, yeah. Dudley was averaging only what three points after like he started talking smack to Ben Simmons. Like he managed to pull off a career high in great, uh, sorry, career high in game three, and managed to like average 17 points during that. So yeah, yeah. you kind of just need that kind of player. Yeah. To kind of irritate the other, you know, star in the other team, just and and kind of try to throw him off the game. That's kind of what happened with the, like, you know, Beverly and Durant matchup, where Beverly just really tried to be all over Durant and it kind of threw him off this game. And this is why we have kind of a series between them now, right? Yeah. So. But both of them like led to being ejected out of the game, anyways. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so but it kind of helped out the Sixers because did. Embiid mm -hmm. and Ben Simmons went. I mean, went off after like the next three possession. He they just went off, mm -hmm. and he just want to attack, attack. And mm -hmm. now Jimmy Butler's not there, so he gave him more possession for Embiid and Simmons to mm -hmm. shoot and. Mm -hmm. To drive in the lane. So, what about the uh, the Lillard and uh, Russell Westbrook matchup? What have, what are you guys' thoughts about it? Um, how it ended? How it went through? Because it's been not just this you know playoff series, but it's been throughout the whole season too. What are your thoughts about that matchup, like or that beef between the two? I felt like it was a very healthy type of rivalry and everything. It was they were very open about that kind of like competition competitiveness that they have between each other. I mm -hmm. mean. Um, it, it is very heartbreaking because I am a fan of Russ Westbrook, Westbrook mm -hmm. and everything. So like um, the whole point that like even with the game that game three they were going back at it with each other point after point and stuff. But then you know once Lillard had the last game with the game winning shot that kind of really broke my heart. Solidified, kind of thing. yeah. That really solidified it right there. I'm just like it's David Lillard. He has the upper hand, yeah. right? Like mm -hmm. Dave, compared to Westbrook, they're both strong. And they're both killer on the court, yeah. but you know, Damon Lillard can be able to, is the surgeon on the court, whereas mm -hmm. like Westbrook, he's more like wild, he's more reckless when it comes to it. But you can't have that, you can't have that kind of behavior, that kind of like mentality postseason. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't always be throwing the shots. He was like what at one point eleven for thirty three mm -hmm. at one point and everything like that too. Um, even from free throw and even from like three-point percentages and everything, he was only right above 20%, whereas, mm. you know, Damon Lillard was, what, 70% sure. and, like, 40% yeah. over. Like, he was way over. He had yeah. that upper hand compared to Westbrook. Yeah. And not just that, uh, Dame, <clears throat> Damian Lillard had that, like, chip on his shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Like, from last year losing the first round, that kind of, like, stained his legacy, right? Yeah. Because they lost to to um, New Orleans Pelicans. Yeah. Without and, the Marcus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that kind of, like... You know, for me, I thought for for a second, OKC will upset to uh, upset Blazers. But what happened is that I think Damian just had that chip in his shoulder, and then it like he's four out of four and shooting thirty feet away from the basket. That's insane. So that's Curry that was range. A, that's not, Curry bomb. Range. Yeah, technically that was a bad shot. I'm not gonna like technically that's for not a anybody bad shot. that's yeah. not Lillard, Steph, <laughs> or yeah. Harden. Yeah, but Lillard yeah. was like. You know, last 10 seconds, you know where the ball is going, and he was just chill. And it's like he has that D'Angelo Russell ice on his veins, and he's just like five, four, three, and just shoot it in front of Paul George. Yeah. yeah. We can kind of see the difference between the player in, in, in Russell and, and Lillard in terms of. Yeah. The, I think Russell Russell would have been a great, a, a much more 
valuable, a much better player back in the old kind of game in the NBA where mm. the point guard was really a slasher and, and, and setting up players. And but uh, so if you look at their game with Lillard's game, it's more towards where the NBA is going right now, which is that you know, range to shoot anywhere around the floor and to be able to sh uh, shoot off the dribble, off the um, catch and shoot, whereas Westbrook game is more of attack the basket. So you can kind of see how the game ended, right? With the last basket to really tie the game up or to get a lead was Russell Westbrook tried to get into the lane, get, get fouled and, and try to make a layup, which did not work. And on the other side, when they got the basketball back, it was Lillard's shot that made to win it was a shot literally that what the NBA is about, which is yeah. like all the way further away, 35 feet off a dribble. That's just kind of um, solidified the game because I think Westbrook game, he, you know, he's done a lot of things accomplishment wise. It's a yeah. regular season to average triple double yeah. in three seasons. That's insane. But if you look at the overall type of game, I would rather have. Lillard's game yeah. on, on the playoff side just because of the fact that he's not phased on the clutch time pressure. Mm -hmm. he can, he's not scared. He's done it before. He's done it with Houston to get uh, to eliminate them. And this is like a, one of his, you know, shot to eliminate them off the playoffs. And the fact that he, the percentage wise is just a big difference. And like, just to add to that, mm -hmm. Lillard, Lillard knows how to utilize his team, mm -hmm. even under, under pressure mm -hmm. compared to Westbrook, where like, mm -hmm. I feel like there's just, he needs to develop more of that trust with his yeah. team. He has that hero or self awareness, yeah, self awareness, that, and like yeah, more yeah. of that. Like he has people on the outside. Like I know he relied on, yeah. you know, Paul George at one point. But come yeah. on, like he he was struggling a little bit with like coming off that shoulder injury yeah. and everything too. Well, so. On paper, OKC is a better team because realistically, yeah, yeah. MVP <clears throat> and then this Paul George is MVP guy, but he's banged up. That's not. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing that kind of like, you know, yeah. yeah. You had the upper hand. I mean, like Nurkic injury was. Um, everyone thought that. It was OKC's favor with without Nurkic and uh, yeah. but McC like the thing that was underrated was McCollum's game. McCollum is really nice complimentary player to uh, to Lillard just because of the fact that they both are similar in the way they slice and the way they they kind of operate. Well, Lillard is more of like a three point bomb and yeah. thirty five feet. McCollum is that you know he can shoot anywhere too, but he's that mid range game that he has. Yeah. That's really hard to to I mean he comes off the pick and roll. And he can shoot off uh, one side, going from the right, from the left. Yeah. It's just a it's just really, really nice. It's, yeah. it's a smooth game he has. Like I mean, I really like the the way yeah. that they have. I just don't know what if what they're gonna do in this next round. I think my only take with McCollum yeah. is that he just needs more presence now that we're going into the postseason and everything. Mm -hmm. So like he didn't really show up that much. So I'm just hoping we can get that going into the right. semifinals.